Ultra could have had another year if they nerfed Elena. You know, this is another topic, but you will never have the perfect patch. Everybody says like Marvel 3 would be perfect with one more patch. No, it wouldn't. You'd have a patch and then Ryu would be the best character in the game and everybody would be like, dude, his Tatsu assist goes through everything and like his fireball beats everything. This is bro like Ryu's broken now. One more patch. If they just nerf Ryu and buff Sentinel again and then like the patch would be great. And then like the next patch, like, oh, you know what would be the perfect patch? Like a patch for balance will not make the game perfect. It'll just make the game different. And you might like that version of the game more, but like, what can you do? Ultra's last cap cop was rough with Elena. It was actually not rough with Elena. All the Elena players got fucked up at Capcom Cup the last year. She did well at many other tournaments throughout the year, but she did not do well at Capcom Cup. That is a great example though. Like if you just tell someone Elena ruined the last Capcom Cup, but like the game was really good besides that, someone might believe you. I'm not going to believe you because I was there. I was there as the crowd watched Daigo get dive kicked to death and no one was happy. Daigo is just getting shit on by Kazunoko doing wake up, jump forward, dive kick, mashing DP and jab and just fucking him up. That was Capcom Cup. That was not Elena. I believe you that you thought that that's what had happened. But it's funny because that's how these things go. Someone's like, yeah, yeah, this game was actually perfect. The only problem was this. If someone doesn't know that, they will actually be like, oh, okay, cool. Seems reasonable, right? They're like, yeah, I've heard Elena's good. She probably fucked everything up. Not what happened. You want to see what actually happened at Capcom Cup? You want to watch some footsies? We already saw send you, see, you see the fear? Like, Kazunoko taps up. And all of a sudden, the grounded footsies that you knew and love are gone. Because at any time, he can just dive kick. You see how Daigo is doing literally nothing because he's just, he's fucking afraid. You see that? He just he just does up kicks because he's like, yeah, whatever. Fuck it. The next time he wakes up jab probably or back dash or up kick or he regular jumps. Daigo's doing retreating jumps to try to get away from him. Uh oh. It's okay. The mix up can't be that bad, right? Ultra? Yeah, he does. He mashed DP and then he gets ultra and then look at the damage on this and the setup. Delayed wake up. 50 50 command. He does dive kick, double button, command throw, dead. Oh, sick. That's the footsies I know and love. Like, he jumps, Daigo's in mortal peril by Kazunoko hitting up. He smokes the, the crouch tech there. He's feeling good. Uh, Kazunoko mash back dash. He mashes jab on wake up. He jumps forward. He jumps, and Daigo feels forced to try to chase a neutral jump. He jumps. He just hits up. And Daigo's like, I gotta do something, or I'm gonna get fucked by dive kick into tick pressure, so I gotta do something. Eh. And he tries. And then now he's he's in the same spot as if he just did nothing. He builds a bajillion bar off this. Command grab. <laughs> Doesn't work. He's dead. Yeah, he did the easy combo too. You gotta do lunge punch there. Yeah, this is nerfed Yun, but it's still... I mean, Yun is ridiculous in this version of the game. Look at the fireballs. Look, jump back jab. <laughs> Look at Daigo doing... This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. You're watching your hero do jump back jab from 50% of the screen away because he can't he can't fight on the ground. He just gained like 30% of the screen. Look at that. He just gained that by hitting up. <laughs> he didn't do anything. He just hit up. Look at that. Jump back jab on hit. Kazunoko is getting the corner on hit. He's just hitting up. Sick. He's in the corner already. He hit up again. <laughs> Double overhead. Hits up, late dive kick. He can still command throw there. Look at Daigo getting to do absolutely nothing. What are you going to do? He just hits up and you're like, oh, jump back jab. You get... 30 damage and the screen space is lost, right? That was a good job. I can't stand that kid's safe. But and then he wakes up Jab. Ganajin. For Frazier, what's good? Still might not even kill. Ganajin is whack. Yeah. Do yeah, it just does it. There's a person in that crowd with their head on their hands. You know, their hands on their head. They're like, oh no. Oh no, this is not looking good. I was like, I was in here. I snuck into the VIP area. Anyway, yeah, like, Elena was a good character, but 
These two characters were both fucked up and Daigo got dive kicked to death. You know, there's like a third strike upload channel. They don't upload anything that's like boring. If it's Chun-Li versus Q, the Q will always win. They don't upload when Chun plays Remy and beats the shit out of him and he never plays because like that's the game. But when Remy wins one out of the 12 matches, they're like, we're going to upload the Remy match. It changes the perspective about the game, right? Because people are like, oh man, this Chun player is kind of washed though. He's getting smoked. In reality, the Remy player wins one out of 12 or 15 or 20. It does have an effect on <laughs> my aura is so good. Only wins today, Brian. Impressive.